All right, I hope everybody's having a great day today. I thought I would show you my 12 hour clock that I built using um, and an OR gates, a couple of counters, and a couple of binary to decimal um, decoders. So let me show you what I have going on here. The first thing I'd like to show you is uh, one of the uh, requirements that I made myself for this clock was that it needed to have an adjustable brightness on the displays. And so I can adjust the brightness of the displays using this little potentiometer. You can see that I can turn it up, you know, to be pretty bright. I just wanted that because sometimes I know there's some clocks that don't have that capability. And if you have it like next to your bed, um, it can, that, that bright light can keep you awake. And so I wanted to be able to, you know, make it dim when I'm sleeping so that it doesn't keep me awake. Anyway, so I was able to work it on that. I've also got a push button here to change the hours. Now, obviously, you can see that um, I just have it hooked up to a 555 timer and it's, a, it's not going um, in seconds. It's just kind of counting depending on how quickly I choose it to count. But if you can imagine, this would be the minutes and this would be the hours. And uh, this little LED light is a AM and PM indicator. So that will switch on and off depending on if it's AM or PM. Uh, I think I'm gonna go into more detail in the next video on the logic and how everything works together to um, you know get the right time and the right numbers um, but just for a quick quick and dirty overview I got this is my uh, this would be the minutes so it's counting up from 0 to 9 obviously and then when it reaches when it goes from 9 to 0 it'll increment the next uh, the next minute or the tens of minutes and how that works is on the, I have an up and down binary counter and I have it preset to count up. So every time a clock pulse comes in, it'll increment to the next uh, binary number until it reaches nine and then it'll go back to zero. When it reaches nine and goes back to zero, it, there's a um, carry out bit that I have going into the next count, next counter. And so that carry out bit will increment the um, the next the tens of minutes and that one will count up from zero to five well zero to six but when it reaches six it resets itself and increments the hours the logic for that is just an AND gate connected on a binary the equivalent of a binary six um, and so when it reaches six it, it increments the next counter but it also will res reset that counter to be zero um, now the hours is a little bit confusing and I hope the next video I make will be able to explain it uh, better but just to go over so this uh, this segment right here is gonna be, this counts from zero to nine and then goes back to zero and counts one, two, to get you 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. And so you can see here in a second, it's gonna count to 11. And then the next one is gonna count to 12. I'll speed this up a bit. And it'll count to 12, and then I'll slow it down. And then when, uh, when this goes from a two, to a zero, it resets this segment, and it doesn't go back to zero, it goes to one. So yeah, it'll go from two to one, and then it, when it goes from two to one, it'll reset that, and then it'll count from one to nine, zero, one, two, one, and that's how that works. And the logic is a little bit confusing because you have to preset the counter to load in uh, binary one 
um, and then it has to reset on, um, I, I can't remember, I the next video I'll be able to go over it in more detail. Anyway, really confusing and I, I know a lot of people kind of struggle with that concept and so I hope I can help clear up any confusion. Uh, and then this last segment is going from a 0 to 1 and then when it goes from 1 to 0 it will increment the AM and PM indicator. So that's, uh, that's my project. Um, the next video I'll go into more detail and hopefully that will help you guys make your own clocks. So thanks. Bye.